Uh, well, because it's just in terms of how your, your members feel about this. I mean, presumably, hauliers like the idea of, let's say, a 60 miles per hour average speed limit, not an average speed limit, just top speed limit, because it means that they can drive their vehicles incredibly fuel efficiently. It saves them cash. I think that's right, Colin. I think the, the point is the two bad ways of driving are to drive very fast, it's very fuel inefficient, etc., can be dangerous. Well, lorries can't do that because they're speed limited. Uh, the other way is to be stuck in a traffic jam. And uh, this system, if it works, and there are all sorts of ifs and buts and we have to see how it goes, uh, is good news for uh, lorry drivers. It's our place of work. This is what we do. It's our office. Uh, and we need to be able to use it and use it efficiently. 85% of everything that we have comes on the back of a lorry. And that isn't going to change. And it's very important that we're as efficient as we possibly can be for the British economy. Uh, Rod, just before I leave you and give, and give Oliver the final word, just on the point about whether your members like it. I mean, do they like, I mean, clearly, you, you know, given the alternative of sitting in a traffic jam, they don't like that. But do they like the idea of driving at that steady average speed limit? Now, you know, I speak as somebody who only this morning was on the M3, average speed limit, 50 miles an hour. And you see the lorries undertaking, you see the lorries uh, almost bumper to bumper with drivers in the middle lane, frustrated they can't perhaps creep into the fast lane, the outside lane. You know, I'm not sure, as a road user like many, that necessarily these, these speed limits of, say, 60 miles an hour generate good driving practice. Defend your members, Rod. Well, look, I'm never going to defend bad driving, whether it comes drivers or HGV drivers. Uh, people should drive well and, and they're trained to do so. Uh, but the, the, the key question you ask is, is this broadly uh, something we welcome or something that we think is uh, detrimental to our industry? So I think uh, most of our members would say this is a good thing. It's uh, the jury's out. It'll take a while to see if it works. Uh, but let's try it and let's be positive about it at this stage.